Hey, what's happening guys? I want to show you a, a little technique tonight to take a look at your feed line and see how well it's performing and if it is performing up to spec. We're going to take, be able to take a look at it and tell whether or not it is shorted or if you have common mode noise on your line. So the first thing you want to do is just tune your radio somewhere where there's no signal. You can hear here, there's nothing but static. And you can see we're looking at S8 to S9 noise level, which is just absolutely terrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to check our feed line and see if that is common mode noise or atmospheric noise. Now this, this same check will work as well if you're not picking up anything at all and it'll find it'll help you find out if your feed line is shorted so I'm gonna move the camera and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and have a look at the back of the radio where the feed line attaches to the radio alright what you're looking at here is the back of the radio and that is the SO239 connector attached to my radio right here so I'm going to disconnect it So this is a three-step process and the first step is to entirely disconnect your feed line once you've done that you're going to come back to the radio and measure the internal noise of the receiver so basically the receivers noise floor when there is no incoming feed line and antenna so here we are with the feed line and antenna disconnected and if I turn up the volume, you might be able to hear just a slight hiss. But if you look at the meter, the S meter there, there's no noise to be heard whatsoever. So that is the internal noise level, the noise floor of the receiver. And it is very low. And just in case you're wondering, there's my RF gain turned all the way up. So no trickery involved here. All right, let's move on to step two and go back to the rear end of the radio. Here's my incoming connection, standard SO239 connector. What you want to do is simply unscrew the shield cover so that you have direct access to the pin. That's the center connector, and if you don't connect the rest of this, you have no shield going on at all. All right, let's move to the radio. Alright, focus, there we go. So there is our connector again here on the back of the radio. And there is our SO239 with the shield disconnected. So what we're going to do is just put the center conductor into the hole. Just like that. So I don't know how well you can see with that wire there. Do you see the gap there? See, we can move over here, give you a little better view. There you go. The shield is not connected at all. Now, let's move back to the front of the radio. Okay, so there we are to the front of the radio. And if we zoom in and you look here at our S meter, you can see we're up to that S8, S9 level again. And again, you can see the RF gain is turned all the way up. So, there's the noise coming in from the antenna and feed line. But, the question is, is it common mode noise? What that means is, is there a signal traveling on the shield of that cable? Because there should only be differential signal traveling back and forth on the center conductor, not on the shield. If there is a signal traveling on the shield, that's bad, that's common mode noise. Now step three of our test is going to tell you if you have common mode noise. So I'm going to turn this up so we can hear the static again. And let's move back to the back of the radio. Alright, so here we are back at the back of the radio right where we left off. And what I'm going to do now is push that all the way in and connect our shield. 
kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. So, if when you connect this, if that static you hear stops, then you know that your feed line or antenna is shorted out. But we still hear the noise. So our uh, feed line and antenna is definitely not shorted out. Now, for the final step of the test, we're going to go back to the front of the radio and see if the noise level has increased. All right, so here we are back to the front of the radio. And our noise level has increased very slightly. So that's telling us that the majority of the noise that is coming in is what's called atmospheric noise. It's noise that the antenna is picking up. It's not common mode. There is a slight amount of common mode, but not much. And in general, this radio does absolutely wonderful. So even though sometimes there's a little common mode noise going on, we're still doing pretty well. Kind of a crappy night here though. There's a lot of interference going on there. Wow, there's a lot of interference. There's a signal there. Oh, you know what that is? That's Mexican radio. Who doesn't love a little Mexican radio? Anyway, so that's how you can test for common mode noise, and while you're at it, it'll tell you if you have a short. So the next question becomes, what do you do if you have common mode noise? Well, I'll show you a couple of real quick solutions. If you do have common mode noise, one of the first things and the easiest thing you can do is get some of these snap-on ferrite chokes and put them on your feed line. You can put as many of these on there as you can fit. The more, the merrier. Now one thing is you definitely want to make sure that they're sized for your line. This is obviously too small. But what you can do in a case like that is wrap a couple rounds through there. These are cheap. You can get like 20 of these for like $10. So this is a really good solution. One of the next things you can do, this is a uh, coax noise filter. This one's from Palomar Engineers, and it's basically ferrites in there. I mean, that's really all it is. Same kind of thing. This is a more expensive solution, but a little more elegant. And one of the final things you can do is get yourself some PVC pipe. This is a 4-inch PVC coupler. Wrap your coax around it in a tight coil. I know you can't see it, I'm fighting with the coax at the moment. You want to wrap about 8 to 10, 12 turns or something like that. Secure them with zip ties on there. And what that does is that creates what's called an ugly ballon, which is basically just a big inductor. Finally, put all of these things together. Make an ugly ballon. Put snap-on ferrite chokes on your line use a line filter and ground your uh, ground the shield of your feed line all these things together can really help if you have a common mode noise problem so I hope these things I talked about today helped you if they did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all my patrons and a big thanks to you for watching that's it I'm out peace